Hello, friends. All of us in childhood loved to play with toys. And everyone in childhood was interested in how these toys work and what they have inside. Remember that? How interesting it was to disassemble some radio-controlled machine, simply because I really wanted to see what was inside it, how the motor was spinning there, what else was there, and then we assembled it and did it work. But for some reason everything worked out for me. I had this way of fixing audio equipment. If my tape recorder broke, I disassembled it and then reassembled it. As a rule, there were a few extra details left, for some reason, but everything worked. That is, I disassembled it, looked, nothing is clear, but very interesting. And assembled, and it works. I don't know what happened. Well, that's the way it was. And in this video, we will do almost the same thing with this capacitor. This is a vintage NOS paper oil condenser type, 52 years old. Sellers assure that this is paper oil, but I have doubts, because this condenser does not have a leg for which oil is poured. And second, the tester shows that it has a rating of 0.29 microfarads, exactly the same as it says on it. But from my experience, I know that if a capacitor is paper or oil, then over time it changes its value and increases. Let's say my bumblebees, according to the tester, are not 0.022, but 0.28 or even 29. That is, it indicates that the oil has dried out. If nothing has changed here, then I'm very interested in what's inside. Let's dissect it now and see what is there. Let's go. So, friends, I am very interested in what is inside this vintage, as they say, paper oil condenser. Let's cut it open and see what does it consist of. So, what do we see? Inside, it's quite small. I don't know, I'll try to split it. Okay. Well, here's a hollow bakelite tube, and here we have a coiled up film capacitor. Yeah, it's film. Personally, I see that there is only foil and film, no oil, no paper. So, as I assumed, this is not paper oil.
is conventional film capacitor. Therefore, it keeps its denomination well. The oil does not dry out, does not go anywhere, and if we unwind it, it is a clean, pure, metallized film. Here, until the very end. On the one hand, polyethylene insulation, yes, something like polyethylene. On the other hand, aluminum. All this twists and turns out like this thing. Nothing new. So we prove that this is not a paper oil condenser, but an ordinary film. But this does not mean that this is a bad capacitor. It is a very good sounding capacitor and it holds up very well over time. I really love such experiments, which are based on personal experience. And now I can say with exact certainty that yes, I am right, this is not paper oil. Well, since we already got this far, we need to see and compare how the film differs from a real paper oil condenser. Therefore, now I will dissect the capacitor A40U9. This one is definitely PIO. Now we will cut off this metal shell and see what is inside. It's up. I'll put on a glow. Oh, it already smells like burnt paper. Oh, yeah. And this is what we see. Oil. Liquid oil. This is what it looks like. There are two cardboard paper casings, all in oil. And we also see a metallized film. More precisely, no. It's not film. It's just a thin tissue of paper soaked in oil. And between it, between its turns, we see a thin layer. A thin layer of oil, a very thin layer. Here, have a closer look. Well, we see very thin layers of oil, and between them a thin metal foil. Paper is of thinniest kind, and everything is in oil. This is in fact oil. Oil paper is the insulation. In fact, if we unwind several turns, then we can regulate 
its capacity with these turns and the mass of the fill. You can make 0 0.022 from this capacitor. This is a 0 0.047 microfarad capacitor. We have already done this, stripped this capacitor and rebounded the required amount to reach the value we need, up to hundreds. This is when I did it with my friend. A first amplifier like this. We probably sold it for a year and a half from such capacitors. We chose out of 10 pieces, listened to three, and then we rewound one of the denomination we needed, and we succeeded. It turned out to be a great amplifier. But there is a pickle. There is no oil here in this condenser. And this one has oil. Here, instead of insulation, a plastic film, and here we have oiled paper instead of insulation. This is, in principle, how they differ. The main task is still performed here and here by aluminum foil. So, in fact, it's not so important that you have a film capacitor or oil paper. The only difference in the paper oil condenser is that they were older and the oil, if not very dense shell of the condenser dries up, it will polymerize and shrink. And if this shell is compressed, then it changes its properties and changes the value of the capacitor. Here, in a film capacitor, the denomination always remains same over time. It never changes because it is securely closed in its shell and, as it were, there is nothing to dry out. We will soon hear how it sounds and then you can choose what suits you best paper oil, or film, or ceramics, in fact, it's no so important. The important thing is how much you like the way they sound, and how comfortable it is for you to work with them. What do you want to get from working with this such capacitor? That's all. Well, friends, on this I say goodbye to you. We will listen to my capacitors in the next video.